Hey everybody, it's Matthew Lee with the Dawa Kung Fu, and we're going to do a fight science tip of the day today. So today I wanted to talk about something I see in a lot of schools that when it, when it uh, goes to fighting is kind of a bad habit for, uh, for people to be getting into. And I think it's a major misunderstanding in the martial art community. So what I want to talk about is a little bit about defense and training. What I see in a lot of schools uh, that I've trained in, as well as a lot of schools that I look at when I'm, uh, when I'm out and around traveling, is this style of punching where they're coming from here and punching out this way. And I think a lot of that gets misunderstood for the purpose of it. So to begin with, when you train at a basic level and you start people out, to train technique and to teach proper body mechanics, you have to teach maybe uh, a specific way so that it gets them doing everything correctly. So from this training position, they're learning their elbows dropped, their shoulders relaxed, they're getting the alignment, they're getting the hip rotation, the spine, everything. They're getting the correct footing uh, as they're striking, which is all very important stuff. But the bad habit comes from always constantly returning the punch back to the waist. Because a counter puncher will strike and hit into the head and your guard is down low. Matter of fact, you don't really have any guard whatsoever. And I've seen this happen really frequently. Um, when I was in Colorado in the early 90s and the beginning of the UFC was starting to happen and there was other minor uh, events around like the Sabaki tournament and the Kip to Key and uh, a lot of things like that. Um, you had a lot of these martial artists that were really early on MMA fighters uh, that weren't mixed and what you saw was them coming into the tournament into, in their stance and then hitting just from the chest and then the person would kick to the head and usually uh, wipe the person out. Even in the early UFCs you saw this a little bit. So. Uh, then people started getting more educated about defense and real fights, not, not like a tournament karate sport, sport fighting like that, but, but like uh, actual full contact fights. And they realized you have to have the hands up. So if you look at things that are known for full contact boxing, only the best boxers can have their arm down and be able to hit and still defend well. And it's usually because they're a little further back, they're rear-weighted and they're a little further back and they can evade and get out of the way of a punch. But the boxers that are moving forward usually have to have their hands up. Muay Thai also, you see those guys have their hands up even though quite frequently their hands are out a little further because they're also dealing with kicks. So you have to have the hands out. Um, but also, myself included, I've had friends as well do experimentation where they get a pad on their arm and swing it like a hook punch or something like that, and or even a straight punch, and you can try this. If your hand is here and you have somebody snap a punch at your chin or your face, and you try to block it, I guarantee it's going to be almost impossible to get your arm up and keep it from hitting you in the, in the face. But if your hands are already up and you're anticipating that punch coming in, it's so easy to get a hand on it and just knock it out of the way. Whether it's a hooking punch coming in from the side or a straight punch coming in, just the little tiny hand on it is enough to steal a lot of momentum out of it and make it go from a potentially uh, fight ending punch to something that's just minor 
and you can you know evade and get your defense going and then uh, come back around so at the advanced versions uh, it's not that this is bad training but if you continue that way it does do bad habits and so at the advanced versions you want to work on getting that shoulder stamina and returning to guard after you're punching always returning back to an arms up guard and so that's my tip of the day so my little Tao of fight science thanks for watching and I'll see you soon